let's say I want to create an assignment for the memory chapter in my psychology course. I'm going to go ahead and open up my PowerPoint memory long-term presentation and use that to create my assignment. In looking at my presentation, I see that I cover the different types of long-term memory. So I could have a question for my students asking them to distinguish between these three different types of memory. So I'm going to head on over to Canvas and I'm going to create an assignment. Click on the assignments link and then click on the plus assignment. And here's where I can give the assignment name, which I'll fill out some of this information and show it to you. OK, so now I have a title for the assignment. I have also typed in the text box what I want to appear uh, to the students when they're reading the directions. I can choose to bold things by highlighting something and pressing the B to bold it. I could italicize something by highlighting it and pressing the I. So it works like you would expect a word processor to work. One of the things is I put the number one here. And what I can instead do is use the canvas option that numbers it. And the benefit of that is it'll help students who are relying upon a screen reader uh, to move through this list. So you can imagine that I could go through my PowerPoint and put together six critical thinking questions that I want my students to be able to answer. So for our purposes, I'll just leave it at one, but we could have six of them here. Next, I have to decide how many points this assignment is going to be uh, worth, how I want it to display in the gradebook, either as points or percentage, how I want the students to submit their work, uh, what I want there to be a peer review, and who I'm going to assign it to in its due date. So I decided to make it 10 points, and I'm going to display it as a percentage. In terms of submission type, I'm going to go with an online submission. Uh, students can either type it in or they can upload it. And I'm going to restrict the file upload types so that I'm only going to allow a DOC, DOCX, that's for Microsoft Word, PDF, and uh, RTF, which is rich text format. So I have those uh, four extensions each separated by a comma. And that way I don't get a student uploading some word processor file that I can't otherwise uh, open. I'm not going to require peer review. Uh, I'm assigning it to everyone and for the due date, let's say I'll make it uh, due uh, Saturday, uh, April 4th. And then I can also have it remain visible to the students through Saturday, April 11th if I want. And what that means is that um, if I'm going to accept late work, I'm allowing one week where students could submit it late and then after that week it will disappear and they won't be able to have access to it. All right, and then I can click Save and Publish. One thing to be careful about when you use the until uh, deadline is that if you move the due date for an assignment on the calendar. It'll update when it's due, but it won't change the until. So that can sometimes have some unexpected uh, consequences. So sometimes it's just best to leave the until blank and only put a due date.